All right, that looks really good. And angle your body a little bit more to the left. There you go. Look at me with just your eyes. Nice. Pre-college is a six-week program for high school students to come to RISD, and at the end of it, they get to show their work. I have a lot of artist friends, so I definitely like tell them to come here and like enjoy the experience. It's definitely an experience I want to like taste. Um, this I did in the studio, and I actually for the show I blew it up. But bigger than life size, it's four by five. And um, I just had her do like, I sketched out some different poses for her to do. And I actually have another one over here. And, um, and I like how it's like almost, like you look at it and aesthetically it's like interesting to look at, but then you look at it again and it kind of gives off almost like a creature-like quality to it. I think that a lot of people uh, don't get that sort of opportunity to, uh, to, to come in and um, be in a crit environment, an art school environment. It gives them really a handle of what crit is and what making art with uh, content is about. Mostly like the edges, they go around okay. and so then steal the spark. In this class, students are exploring aspects of game design from creating their own models, their own game, their like own game ideas. Um, working conceptually, doing the drawings and their thumbnails, etc., and then taking those ideas, bringing them into Maya. This is actually my game up here on the screen. In the game, you play as like this washed up ex mad scientist. You make all these kind of like makeshift machines and stuff to help you in your conquest. Well, it's basically about just biohazard and like mutant spiders. <laughs> I love when they first realize that they can model. Because at first it's, it's tricky and nothing's making sense. But then at some point or another, they get it. Ideally, a studio shouldn't have windows where the sun comes pouring in because you can't control the lighting. Like with the painting teacher, I feel like I have like a nice close relationship with her. She is really supportive and like she's really helpful and like gives really like thoughtful advice, even the students too, like I, even from the critiques, like I learn a lot. Um, you have large, long brush strokes here and you have a lot of yellow in it, so I believe it's attracting a lot of attention in an area that probably you don't want attention. I've always had an appreciation for craft and I love drawing and I love building things and just being able to design something and then build it and then see it become a product is what I really enjoy. One of the things that we went through for this entire summer is really talking about an introduction to the built environment. Your, your final the students will get, really a, get a wonderful chance to completely observe and to completely study all the different kinds of things that we do in architecture when we actually go to college. I just wanted to learn more and I wanted to try it out. I'm certain now that I want to do this. It's a wonderful experience and I recommend it a lot. And it's intense, but it's worth it once you get through it. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. The lack of sleep, you can sleep later. Now is the time. Who's ever not on film? Let's go. Let's one more critique. That's great. One more. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.